Oh, staircase. That's awesome. Oh, this is great. It's like a little attic with a little attic-y window that you can peer out of. You can actually see the Empire State Building from the main bedroom. Look at that, there it is. Did the rent just go up by a thousand bucks? Did you know there was a beach in Brooklyn? Don't worry, neither did I. But there is like actual sand and beach debris. And look at this, today's apartment is two minutes away from where we are right now, which is actually a state park. You've got a view of One World Trade, you can see Midtown, the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, and you can enjoy the sounds of the ocean or the river. Doesn't that look inviting? I don't think you could actually, well, you could go in here, you'd just probably regret it instantly. There's just something about the ocean that is relaxing in a way that the rest of New York City definitely is not. It's loud here. It's fun here, but it's loud here. That's the ferry right there taking people to Manhattan. There's the other one over there waiting to come in. It's a pretty pleasant looking park too, except for that fire hydrant. And for some reason there's like nobody here. People definitely live around here. I guess you'll have it all to yourself. Smoothies and juice. Parking for your Vespa. Beautiful bike and there's a bicycle store. Yes, this neighborhood's got everything you need to live out your fantasies. Of being a hipster who always has the latest iPhone and has a bunch of fake friends on Instagram. There's a legit restaurant scene here. Cafes, more cafes. You won't get bored living here. And if you do, just buy these vintage boots, which might be brand new, but this barber will give you a haircut for $35. It's a good deal. Maybe it's cash only. Rosarito. They have four tacos. Nice, simple menu. It's probably good. Even a dog cafe. But I see tables, so it looks like humans are also allowed in. Okay, if you buy a cup, you can play with a pup. If you wanted to play with a dog, but not own the dog and take care of it afterwards, this might be your spot. I can't tell if this is an up and coming area or if stores like this mean it has already arrived. On the one hand, we have an abandoned building with spray paint. Then over here, we have amazing ice cream. I had this shake the other day and I regret nothing. I think this is the grocery store. That's what it says, and that's what it looks like inside. But what I know for certain is that you have to try Jack's Wife Frida. They've got an amazing brunch, and it's one block away from the apartment. There's also way too many city bikes over here. It's a beautiful day, and no one's riding any of them. They've also got them double stacked on the sidewalk and on the curb. And next to this abandoned diner, we have a very active little coffee trailer park. It's a blank street. Their coffee's pretty good, also one block away. Missing Sim Sim the Bodega Cat. I would assume he's found a better bodega where he is fed more regularly. Anyways, if you see him, here's the number. Whoa, is that him? Kind of looks like the picture. Um, I see a collar though. He might belong to somebody else, but I don't see anybody else. It says outside cat on his thing. Okay, all right, just gonna leave him alone. Oh, I thought we had him. And interestingly enough, he lives here, I guess, at this building, which is where we're going today. The park is literally right there. That's the water. And if you have a car, there's parking across the street. How, is there more than one place we can see? Yes, there is. Really? We will all right. see as many as we can. Just finished redoing it. You got all the things you need. Netflix, Prime. Do you know how to play chess? I do. Let me start first, okay. Oh, there's no way out. Okay, you got me. I did better than I thought. What's this? Oh, it's nice. It's big. Bro, what are you guys building? An Equinox down here or something? <laughs> got the bags, squats, and all that jazz. Let's see if I can still do it. Probably not. And then this is the rest of the gym. Weights up to 50. But what's the deal? Can tenants use it whenever they want? Is it restricted? During the hours when there is a lifeguard, tenants are feel free to use it at any time. Is there extra fees for all this fun stuff? All the amenities are included in the rent price. There's no extra fee for them. And that's the best part about the building. Who's that? I 
like how you guys actually have stuff on the roof. It's not a barren landscape. Yeah, yeah, we try to make it as comfortable as possible. This could be you right here. Looks fun. And look at that, right there, Empire State Building between the two towers. Over there you can see the bridge. And it's like big, it's not like a tiny little roof where it just, you can come out here and have fun. And since we're here with James, we get to climb the maintenance staff only staircase. Oh, those are private cabanas? Yeah. That's pretty sweet. So if you rent one of the most expensive apartments, you get your own little little spot. Is this the only laundry room? This is not the only laundry room. We have one on every floor besides the first and the second floor. Look at how close we are to the water. And there's a beautiful warehouse across the street. Oh, I love Williamsburg. Dun, 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 dun. 5750. 5750. And again, we're in a building with a pool and more amenities than you'd find everywhere else. So our terrace, seven by five and a half. The neighbors is the same size. Look, you could definitely get chairs and a little table. As someone who lives in a building with an unusable terrace, which is too small for any fun, I could definitely get behind this. Plus the view's awesome. We're literally looking right down the street. Third floor, so you can people watch if that's your thing. Also, we have a green door, which, um, did you see that? Okay, all right, that was a close call. I love this living room. It's not a perfect square, but it's 12 by 14 from the middle. Let's be real, you don't want to block the balcony anyways. I recommend setting this up. Either you can have your TV up on this wall, or you can have an L-shaped couch, have TV up on that wall, and even put a love seat in the corner. Floor to ceiling windows, that's a big plus. And look, they included a curtain rod, so you don't have to suffer with that. They're never any fun to install. Modern heating and AC. Solid water pressure. And I like this kitchen. It's not the biggest, but it has a ton of counter space and it has all full-size appliances. And it's impressive that they got so many nice things in this one little area. It saves you a lot of space. What's up? This is my favorite. Oh, the pull-out snack drawer. I call it the wine rack. Full-size dishwasher. Cabinets galore. What do we got in here? So this closet is called the utility closet. Oh. It has the water heater. I like how that's not just sitting there with nothing else. You do have shelves, so you can kind of use it. So I guess this is your pantry? Yes, it is. Okay. The oven's also massive. We got five burners, and it's made by a smartphone company. So many apartments have kitchens that are symbolic, but here you can actually make your own food if you know how. Now the bedroom here is an absolute home run. It's about half the size of the living room. 13 by 10, it's big. Big windows, fantastic view. We've also got a nice big closet, and that means you can have a nice big bed anywhere you want. So most of the bathrooms in this building are gonna be all exactly the same. Okay. Same tiling, same type of bathtubs, same type of vanity and bathtub. Oh, the top one doesn't open. No, it doesn't? Oh, no, next time. Thank you. So it's like the same as the one bedroom. Very similar. The reason for that is because it's similar in size. And this place has no sacrifices because we have a balcony. I think I like this one better than the other one. There's just like something about it. I know we're not on the corner, but there's a feeling. Does that make sense? These guys got the right idea. Look at them chairs right there. Oh, that's hot with the orange table. Is this bigger than the other one? It is bigger than the other one. Okay, but it's a, technically a two bed, so that makes sense. Plus there's a little light. This way, if it's dark, uh, you won't get lost finding your way right over there. The living room here is also awesome. Big windows, lots of light. The layout that I would recommend is gonna be on the L-shaped couch along this wall, having a nice coffee table, maybe even a bar cart over here for okay. nice seating, and then have your TV up on the wall. Also, if your car is that military vehicle over there, you could check on it, make sure it's still there. Kitchen looks the same, that's a good thing. But because we're part of the living room here, we've got a lot of light hitting the kitchen itself. And I found a little remote for the uh, AC in the the reason I did is because it's a very bright kitchen. Bedrooms, what do we got here?
Looks like you have a little window where you can open it up and then interact with whoever's out here on your balcony or just use the door. Now let's be real, none of these apartments are the cheapest in town, but you can really get a lot out of this. I mean, you could have a bed, you could have a desk, a little work from home setup if you wanted. And it's not a small place, it's a big place and a building with everything. Is this our secret pantry from before? Oh, full size water heater, nice. Because it's a two bedroom. Now the other bedroom here faces the interior. There's parking over there, very cool. It's not gonna be loud and it's the same size. This is as much bedroom as your roommate's gonna get. This place is gonna be really easy to share. Very large walk-in as well. And again, we have two baths. This one has a standing shower. Oh, this works. There's room in here. You can clean yourself without like bumping into the knob. Nice looking sink, mirrors. State of the art. Deep soaking tub. Nice. Got that same marvelous tub from before. I like how everything's the same. That's good. Which way to number three? Oh, a staircase. I like everything about it. Awesome. What's it cost? Cheapest price we have right now is at $49.25. Okay, so you can get something like this for $49.25 in this building. Yeah. That's not bad. One bed plus like a home office. So are you allowed to call the loft area a bedroom or no? Technically, yes, but we don't. Okay, so if someone's willing to sleep in the treehouse, which we're gonna investigate in a second, this could be the cheapest um, and least convenient two bedroom in the building. And it has a balcony. So this place, it has the biggest balcony. Or is it a terrace at this point? At what point does the terrace become a balcony? Let's see if James knows. I think the ones down below are called the terrace. Oh, because they're not elevated. Yeah, this is why it's James's listing and <laughs> it's not mine. Look at that, man. Table, chairs, the whole nine. And you have a relative amount of privacy because there's not really any windows peering directly in. These are our windows. That's the bedroom window. And then above us is somebody else's balcony. What's going on over here? You can make like Spider-Man hang out on this roof. Probably a stupid idea. The living room here is also gonna be really easy to set up. And that's because it's like a big rectangle. Just watch out for the ladder in the doorway. But you could store stuff under it and you could have a TV, you can have a couch, table in this area. Coat closet, a door you could kick off your shoes, you could put a rack with some, you know, some little hooks over here. That's the great thing about living in a modern place. The layouts are really good. And this kitchen, look at how bright it is. Now all the appliances, they're gonna be the same. Um, definitely my favorite kitchen. Just because it's so bright. Fridges here are massive. And dun dun dun, dun every apartment gets the snack drawer. But the win here is that we have prep space on both sides of the stove, so really easy to use and get to. Oh, look at that. Ambient lighting. How high are the ceilings in here? About five feet tall. Five feet? No, not not up here where you are. Oh, this is that's a good question. I would say about like 15. I'd probably sleep up here. You've got like a little bed area, and then you got this little nook for stuff. What do we got here? Water heater. The only problem is the ceilings are shorter than I am. So, oh wait, never mind. I can stand up completely up here. That's embarrassing. So I guess if you're my height, that changes what you may or may not want to do with this. Even if you're living in here as like a one bedroom apartment, this could still be like a study area. Plus there's like windows in here so you can uh, spy on whoever's in your living room and they lock for safety. So got its own AC, its own sprinkler. And we're looking out at like this warehouse thing over here. Here. As far as traversing the staircase, it doesn't shake, it feels pretty good. But the actual bedroom here, this thing is magnificent. Super bright, super big. And according to the iPhone, this is a 15 foot ceiling. That is basketball. Also, the curtains you buy for these, they're gonna have to be the biggest ones they sell at Ikea. Very quiet, it's not a street view, so there's zero noise in here. Very nice closet space in here as well. Bathroom is the same, look at that. And the reason you wanna work with James when you find your next place is because he showed me the coolest, cheapest place last, which most realtors were taught not to do at the used car lots they were found at. Thanks, man. You got it. <laughs> See you in the next video.